welcome to Solar PV TV. We're here at the Solar Show in Johannesburg, and I'm joined by Peter Dalglish, the CEO of Deco Power. Peter, thanks for having us at your booth. It's an absolute pleasure. So, you are an installer, you work at the, in a systems provider, you work at the residential and commercial level. This is something that we maybe hear less about internationally in South Africa. Can you tell us about how, that, how this market is developing at the residential and commercial scales? On the residential side, um, we've got a very different market to Europe. Uh, the European market is based around feed-in tariff and grid tie systems. Uh, because of our unstable grid in South Africa, and the environment is completely different. So with the res residential market, we see the market going towards hybrid technology. Um, we don't have a feed-in tariff yet, and we, we, we don't have the infrastructure in order for a feed-in tariff to work like it does in Europe and the States. Um, so we, we see the market going on a feed-in tariff as well as an off-grid. So a mixture between the two, which is, which, is, which is where hybrid technology has come from. Interesting. Now, when you say hybrid technologies, are you talking about including energy storage, uh, diesel backup diesel generators, both? I mean, what are we talking about? So when, when I say hybrid technology, the traditional inverters on the market have e either been grid tie, which means that they have to have a grid in order to function. And you either use the power immediately or you feed the power back. The problem with grid tie inverters is that when the power goes off, there's no more power. So you, 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 have, peop you have a scenario where people are like, well, I'm spending all this money on the solar, but I don't have power backup and I'm sitting without power. So what, when, we, when we talk about hybrid, and hi hybrid's quite a loose term in the industry, it means a lot of different things in different places. For us, what it means is hybrid means a grid tie inverter that can feed power back onto the grid and can have battery backup and limits feeding back when the grid goes down. That's what we mean by hybrid. Interesting. Now, I understand net metering is being enacted in South Africa. How is that policy in impacting your business and the market development? Um, yeah, that policy is going to have a massive positive impact on, 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 the, on, the, on the environment because what it means is now you can get added benefits from installing a PV system. So that, that, that excess energy that, that you would normally not use and would, would stay stagnant can now be fed back and, and benefit can be had from it. Um, with regards to standards <laughs> and uh, implementation of it, yeah, we're we yet to see how that's going to go. Okay. Um, yeah. Interesting. I understand that standards and training, these are things that you particularly work on at Deco Power. Um, yeah, we believe we're entering a new age. Um, the solar age, and people don't really understand what solar is. There's not many people that, re that know that you need a solar panel, a regulator, an inverter, and batteries in order to make a solar system. So what we believe is, is that we need to educate the age, we need to educate people, we need to educate the consumer, um, and then on a further level we need to educate our installers. So what's happening now in the market is a lot of people are installing systems illegally. Um, there have been a few horror stories of batteries and explosions and fires and all sorts of things. So we're very, working very closely with the corporation, uh, the Department of Labor and SANAS uh, with regards to setting the standards for this industry. Um, as you can see behind here, you probably can't see it on camera, but we are working very closely with uh, installer uh, trainers and the standards guys, the guys that are actually writing these standards from an electrical point of view. Uh, because we believe things need to be done right. Um, so yeah, we, 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 you could call it we're leading, we're, leading, we're leading the way with regards to standards, in, especially in the domestic market. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned batteries. Uh, what percentage of the systems that you're deploying have battery backup as opposed to just pure PV and inverter? Sure. Um, on the domestic front, I'd say about 80 to 90% have battery backup. Um, batteries, unfortunately, are your most expensive uh, part of a PV system and the most volatile and the, you know, expensive and don't last very long. Um, we've got some exciting technologies around batteries and testing and monitoring and rejuvenation of batteries. Yeah. 
Sure, and are you seeing cost reduction? I mean, we certainly, we've all heard about Mr. Musk's factory, which is going to come on in Nevada for lithium ion batteries. Are you seeing a lot of cost reduction and do you expect more in terms of the storage front? I expect the biggest innovation going forward is going to be around storage, most definitely. Cost reduction, not so much. We quite influenced by the rand dollar here in South Africa and the rand can be quite erratic. So we, we're not really seeing the cost reduction just yet. But I'm very excited about some, some new technologies that, that, that are on the horizon. And I believe that storage is where it's at. Interesting. Now, I, I noticed that you have these systems here that are a slightly smaller format. Can you talk a little bit about the market for some of the sm systems that may be smaller than we would necessarily see in Europe or North America? You know, some of the, for, for folks who are looking for the, the cell phone charging, you know, folks in the townships who have more, certainly more unreliable power. What's this, uh, what's this sort of small residential market like here? Well, um, rural electrification is why I got into this business in the first place. It's the closest thing to my heart. Um, and in this country, you know, we, 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 we've got, there's 30% of our population that does not have access to power. And that's, that's a tiny figure from the rest of Africa. I think the rest of Africa, it's inverted. I think it's 70% that don't have power and 30% that do. So that is, that is exactly what we want to do. We want to, we want to, we want to power humanity. Phenomenal. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And this is Solar PV TV. We're here at the Solar Show in Johannesburg.